Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. There's been talk on and off for a few years regarding the safety of the drinking water in the United States. It kind of gets a bit of attention, then it goes away, and we don't give this topic anywhere near enough attention. It is very important, the water that people are drinking every single day. And over the last 24 hours, there has been a study released that has got some attention across a few media outlets regarding the safety of the drinking water that the majority, the vast majority of Americans consume every day and all of the toxins that are in this drinking water. It's actually quite shocking when you think about it. And is it really any surprise whatsoever when we think about modern mainstream culture and all of the unsafe things all around us, all of the toxins we consume, including ultra-processed foods, all of the harm that is being done to millions of people, is it any surprise that this would also apply to the drinking water? Because we live in a corporate culture where the bottom line is paramount. The health and well-being of people, of all of you, of your families, comes a distant second to the bottom line of big companies who will do anything to mass produce whatever it is that they are selling, whether it's food or even drinking water. Let me share this study with you here that got a bit of attention and I'm going to focus on one particular article that was published in the Daily Mail within the last 24 hours. Scientists find at least six toxins like arsenic and uranium in systems used by 95% of the US population. About 95% of the US population is drinking water from wells and community systems containing unsafe levels of toxic contaminants, a new study has revealed. Scientists at the University of New Mexico identified at least six pollutants. And I've said many times, whenever you read a headline like this, never go on what the publication says, especially a mainstream media publication. Always go to the source and check that out for yourself. Isn't there a famous saying, if you're afraid of getting a rotten apple, don't go to the shop, go to the actual tree and get it yourself. Wasn't that a line from the untouchables? But anyway, let me share the study with you now. I've included links to the study and also the article in the Daily Mail down below if you want to click on those and check them out yourselves. So here we have the article published in Nature, just published, US Drinking Water Quality, Exposure Risk Profiles for Seven Legacy and Emerging Contaminants. And here's what they said, drinking water contamination is widespread in the United States. So what are the actual six toxic chemicals then? Let me share them with you here. Okay, here we go. Number one, arsenic. The team found arsenic is detectable in more than 50% of community water systems. That's not good. Then we have lead. Lead, of course, has a long history. Most of you probably know this already. And they detected a significant amount of lead in drinking water. Number three, uranium. Now, this is an interesting one because they say uranium occurs naturally in the Earth's crust and then it leaches into water systems, so it's perhaps present in natural drinking water as well. But the question is, is it concentrated even more in processed water that comes through taps? Then we have nitrates. I've talked about nitrates before. They are carcinogens in foods. And here they say nitrate levels in water resources have increased worldwide from applications of inorganic fertilizer and animal manure in agricultural areas. Number five, fracking-related substances. All of these substances from fracking, which is a relatively new process which is going on in many, many countries around the world. Fracking fluids and wastewater from the process can contain toxic, radioactive and carcinogenic chemicals. Then lastly, we have PFAS, per- and polyfluoroalkyl substances. These are synthetic chemical compounds used in cleaning products, certain fabrics, nonstick cookware and other items. The study shared that up to 80 million Americans get water that is tainted with high concentrations of PFAs. That is all very concerning indeed. Who wants these toxic chemicals in their water? But where do we go from here? That is the question. Now, I'm not suggesting that you stop drinking tap water. Obviously, we have to live in reality. The majority of people rely on tap water. They drink it, they add it to their food, etc and people have to consume it. And it's very disappointing that 95% of Americans are consuming tap water with these potentially dangerous toxins in them. That's an awful, awful situation. Well, let me tell you what I've been doing. So I've been aware that drinking water isn't particularly safe for at least a couple of years. 
and I've been reducing the amount of tap water that I consume. I used to drink a lot of tap water straight from the tap. I used to add ice or whatever and then consume it. And a couple of years ago, things changed when I started learning more about this particular topic. And I started using a water filter. And you can get a lot of these filters online and then you drink from them after the water is filtered. But the issue is that the filter doesn't actually remove a lot of the chemicals, especially the ones I just mentioned. So where do we go from there then? Well, I know a lot of people boil their water. That may not be a practical thing to do either. But again, boiling water won't remove a lot of these chemicals. So let me tell you this. Over the last couple of years, what I've been doing more and more is simply buying bottled water. And I know for many people out there, this isn't a feasible solution. It's expensive. I get bargains because I go online and buy in bulk. But still, it may not be cost effective for the majority of people. Certainly everybody out there can't only use bottled water. But that's something I've been doing more and more to try to reduce my exposure to tap water. I don't think it's safe. I don't think the big corporations in America really care truly for the health and well-being of Americans. Their main goal is to mass produce anything, whether it's water or food, and they care only about their bottom line. And it's all part, again, of this culture, which is taking us away from nature, this mass produced corporate culture. Same applies again to ultra processed foods, which are full of toxins and the majority of people are consuming all the time. It's all part of the same issue. And what you have to realize is to not be trusting of everything around you to always do your own research and think very carefully about whether the substances you're putting into yourselves, whether it's water, food, whether you're consuming it, your family is consuming it. Think very carefully whether it's truly safe or not, because studies like this really emphasize the dangers. If we're finding these toxic chemicals in the water supply and nobody's really talking about it, I mean, a few media publications gave it some attention over the last couple of days, but it's bound to just disappear from view. But what could be more important than water? I mean, civilizations everywhere since the dawn of time have been built around water. Look at the history of any large city or even country. They're always built around a fresh water supply. And the water we consume now is no longer fresh. It doesn't come straight from nature. It is treated, it is processed, and it is provided to you by big corporations who want to make money. And they'll do anything possible to cut corners. And ultimately, the only way that things may change is for the general public to put pressure on these companies, on local governments, on the federal government even, to say, no way, you better be giving us safe water. You need better regulations. You need to look into this more carefully and actually do more studies and have more research on the dangers of these chemicals in water. Totally not natural. And maybe it will one day come down to lawsuits to get things to change. But in a corporate culture, remember, unfortunately, you look at how things work in Washington, D.C., you look at corporate culture, the general public who deserves so much better. I mean, I've lived in the United States now for more than 10 years, and I can say this, I really believe the American public deserves better. The American public are decent, they are hardworking, they want to do the right things for themselves and their families, but they are let down by an environment which basically ensures that they go down the road of a toxic lifestyle. Most of them are unsuspecting of this, especially the poorer, more vulnerable communities. So that's all I've got to say about that. Let me know your thoughts down below. Studies like this are alarming and it highlights the point. Think twice about everything you put into your body. Is it really safe? Do your own research and don't trust that authorities are getting things right. Thanks everyone again. Feel free to comment down below. Check out my online academy. That link is also down below. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. Have a fantastic weekend everyone and we will speak again very soon.